Well, thank you very much. But about Fidel Castro, uh, well, it is not exactly true. It was not. Well, thank you very much, because I was dreaming with you s since 20 uh, or 25 minutes as I came from Paris and I was blocked in the train. So sorry to keep you waiting, but uh, it was not a French train. So <laughs> it was a European train. So uh, another time, thank you for the dream, because I was listening very carefully to my predecessor. I want to talk very basically, I mean vulgarly, about day, daily life, in fact, of the people. Not because of the computer world, because of the reality. And I want to talk about in innovative financing tools. Because uh, you know perfectly that uh, close to one billion people are suffering of starvation, computer or not. Close to two billion people have no access to water, to clean water. It will certainly change the world the way you were dreaming about. But for the time being, this is part of the reality. I'm not talking about health, I'm not talking about a lot of uh, disasters, but I'm talking of the, about the reality. So we need not to help to be with them with some particular money to develop with them or to learn from them, not to impose anything. And uh, just to talk briefly about this uh, innovative uh, financing. You know, this is the question I wanted to ask you every day. How much exchange rate transaction are, let's say, occupying the world? Making in between three to four trillion dollars every day. And uh, if we had the total amount of, this is rate transaction change, if we had the total amount with shares, with bonds, with derivative financing, new tools, derivative finance, this is close to seven times, ten times more than that. So this volume has increased seven times or eight times since the beginning of the decade. So such a market is not taxed. This is a free market. And I'm talking about only the change in finance going to change your money from one point to the other, from one point of the world to the other point. So, uh, well, is it possible to benefit of this movement, which is a free and necessarily free movement, occupied by speculative activities? Is it possible without any connection to the real economy or to the real lack of economy? And I don't want to call that a tax, what I'm going to offer you. But this is a contribution. This is to set up a world solidarity, solidarity, sorry, contribution. So, innovative funding must be, should be, part of what will be worked by the G20. It has been several times studied. It has been said in the UN system everywhere since 25 or 30 years. I personally am working on that uh, possibility since at least 25 years. So is it technologically possible? Yes, it is. All the experts, and I have a lot of books to show you, 
are in agreement on that. This is a financial transaction tax. It might be something else, something larger, something more difficult to tax something. This is a contribution to be part of the world which was described by our friend. Because otherwise, it will take longer and longer than expected. 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. How to change the world to get access to the water, please. What about communicable diseases? We tried, and we succeed in a way. We are making progress, so look at that. In uh, let's say the last five years, it has been said by a lot of persons, all the economists, one after the other, because the orthodoxy of the free market, free market, the new God, free market, don't tax anything at the level of the planet. This is impossible, they used to say, including in my, my people in several governments, from left and from right. It was impossible. It has been said by all the Minister of Finance. It is possible and very easy. Let me show you in one sense. On 1,000 euro exchange from one money to the other, and another time we can enlarge the spectrum much more than that, but on 1,000 euro or dollar, I ask the people to sacrifice five cents. 0.005%. And it will be around 30 to 40 billions a year as a benefit. I know this is difficult to imagine from that coin, 5%. 5 centim, it makes 0, 0,005% of the $1,000 US endings so, somewhere else. I don't want to. <laughs> yes, you are laughing, <laughs> but this is my best partner. <laughs> so, let's see what, how can it be done. I don't want to curb the transactions in the world. I don't want to tax the financial system. If some countries are starting, or if the maximum, of course, is to convince the 192, 192 nations of the United System, it's impossible. It will take years and years, more than years. It will be impossible because of all the difficulties. But through the G20, and certainly around France, yes, Germany, yes, United Kingdom, I don't know with a new government, but we'll see, Spain, uh, Norway, Japan. We were 61 countries accepting, we were, this idea of this world solidarity contribution. So this is not absolutely, not only a uh, sort of speculation on that. We should not, of course, curb another time, sorry to repeat the system. This is a painless contribution. So th the problem was during a, a long, another time, if you are changing money in the airport, you know, the percentage of uh, it costs you 10% in changing money. And this is my proposal, our proposal, uh, 5,000 times less than the money you're changing in the airport. So, what is exactly the obstacle? Ah, ça marche plus. Well. <laughs> this is not an explanation, but a view. <laughs> so, at minimum, is that 30 billion? In fact, it is in between 30 and 40. With in the airport, I told you, 5,000 times more. 
And this painless contribution must be uh, nearly invisible from the people, from the, 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 I mean, the business people, etc. So why, in that uh, interdependent and globalized world, we were unable to offer that? Certainly after the, the, the financial crisis we were all suffering of, it was not the good moment, because the reputation of the banks, the reputation of the free market, the reputation of the free exchanges, etc., were not so good. But if we are waiting for, let's say, uh, a better uh, technical and financial world, we will wait for Look what is going with Ireland and uh, what was, I'm talking about only the European Union, what was going for Greece, etc. So, sorry, but uh, better not to wait because meanwhile, the people like those who were looking, waking up in the morning to get food at the end of the day, this un milliard, one billion people, well, not you, to get money. So, this is the, the countries of OCDA are devoting close to 120 billion by yes, last, last year, by example, in terms of public money for development. And because of the economical crisis I was talking about, this is certainly not on a good sense. Improving this level is certainly not possible in the coming years. So we need at least, close to that public assistance, considering only the climate change, what was going what is going in still in Cancun, what was discussed in Copenhagen, we need at least hundred billion dollars. So just to give you some okay. Don't have to explain you that. To keep our promises, by example, is to offer education to all the children of the world. And for the time being, 72 millions are not scholarized. They are not receiving any education. With only 16 billion euro or dollar, education can be offered to these 72 millions people. This is for uh, treat therapy, I mean, to, to fight against AIDS, HIV, AIDS problem. You know that we devoted a lot of money through the Global Fund, and it was a success since te 10 years, and it was absolutely impossible. It was impossible, so we did it, like the innovative financing system. So with 28 billion, this is possible to offer to all the people in need treat therapy for the rest of their life. So, okay, I have to stop. And uh, I will stop because it has been uh, certainly more than 18 minutes I was talking about that. And you know, in 18 minutes, you and me, with this system, we were able with this contribution of solidarity to take care of one million and two thousand, two hundred thousand children to offer them schooling. Or in 80 million with this system, 0.005 percent, we were able to offer three therapy for HIV. HIV heads to 20,000 children.
So everybody is in agreement with that. Nobel Prize, economic people, etc. But some countries are refusing the system. And we decided, with some European countries, as I mentioned them, to start being 5, 10 or 20 before the others. And uh, just to ask you the question, is it difficult to understand what I said? Are you in favor of? Yes. Who is in this favor? <laughs> okay, you are very courageous, 25 people. Thank you very much.